this adventure is exciting. It sure is, Malcolm. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Kirendia Book 3, Malcolm's Revenge. Last time, here on the Island of Cats, we met Fluffy, learned that we need to activate some runes to free the cats, which I don't know how that's going to work. Also, we met some pirates who will only let us uh, lead an attack on Kirendia if we can come up with some sort of object with which to attack. I'd rather do it all after I get my nap. True, let's just take a nap. Thank you for watching, and no, I'm kidding. So, uh, we need to put the jewels in the right slots for this. That's where that uh, thing that we saw in the lower ruins comes into play, where the dog fort is. Each color of these matches up with a color on these things you need to put from left to right. Now, um... This adventure is exciting. Shut up. Now... Something you should note, if you put them in the wrong slots, it makes the game unwinnable, I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, like, you put them all in the wrong slots, then the jewels will all just disappear and you'll get nothing. Yeah, you might be able to have the dog dig them up again, but you do not want to have that happen if that's the case. But either way, save and make sure that if you do screw up, you have a place that you can restore. But I'd rather do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's start. So remember, the one on the very left was moon. And this is sort of a moonish color, this white. Hopeful points. Okay. Next was a sunrise, which was yellow, which is a topaz. The third was rain. And that is about, I guess... I know it seems like it should be a sapphire, but that's actually the lightning one. The rain is the purple amethyst one. Alright, go over here. We haven't been over in this direction yet. There are more. So the emerald was here. That was the wind. We put lightning there with the blue. The sapphire. This probably does mess people up because I would put um lightning for purple and rain for blue, but whatever. And a fire is ruby. What? Good work! Let's take that magic and go make arrangements to get off this rock. We got another mouse? He looks unusually calm for a food item. Oh yeah, they're all staring at that one mouse, but okay. Wonder how this will work. Hmm. I wonder. What the Oh great. This is just fantastic. Nice work, Squeaky. <laughs> what should we do now? Go scare some elephants? I've been turned into a mouse, so we found out what that thing does. Um. Oh, great. Oh, there's a fat kitty. Can it turn us back? That's what got me into this mess in the first place. Can't. Oh, no. Hopefully this Go kitty away. won't happen. I'm taking a nap. Excuse me. Meow. <laughs> so it seems our thing has somehow freed the cats. Don't ask me how. But hey, there's Fluffy. You are indeed a great pig. Yeah, yeah. Just glad to be of service. So, um... Stay like this forever. You need some cheese. Okay. Do you have any I could borrow? I thought all you Corandians always had cheese. Here, eat some of mine. Well, Xanthia made some cheese once, but I don't, I don't think. That, I don't know. Ah, oh, that's better. Eat the cheese and become normal. Excellent. Nice going, Jungle Boy. Alright, do we have any this place? This guy is obviously a nut. <laughs> I suppose I should use him. I guess so. Anyway, we need to make our way back to the pirates. He is really thick. And we need to, uh... These are... These... Ow! These are... Ah, nope. These are... These are... These are... I know I want to go... Uh, do, uh... 
Uh, no. We have to clear some more before I can go up. Yeah, there we go. There's a bone that I don't need. Okay. And I do have directions to the forest now, the jungle, whatever this is. So, no, whoa, hello. Okay, that was random. <laughs> Maybe it was a pirate, being all swashbuckly and whatnot. Swashbuckly, is that a word? Swashbuckly. I just made a new adjective. You are welcome. Anyway, we are here. Let's be normal. Yes, we Mr. Pirate. So, where's the magic? Mr. Wizard? Uh, sorry, no magic, no attack. Oh, we'll show you some magic. You watch this. Okay, let's show you boys some magic. <laughs> Good work. They've got to be impressed with that magic, don't they? So we're going to take over it as a mouse, will we? <laughs> All right. Guy. I admit I see some potential with this magic. You've got yourself a ride, Jester. Nice. Great. Let's get away from this flea-infested island. Seriously, I don't get how that thing freed the cats and liberated them, but okay. If you insist. Master boys, we're almost there. I'm excited. And I don't understand how we're going to attack Corandia with a thing that turns people into mice. I mean, it's not like they turn into, like, tiny mice. They turn into still human-sized mice. Come on, boys. Corandia is ours for the taking. If, if you say so, let's do it. Let's get our revenge. Or we could get captured by her. Not so fast, Malcolm. Got let's go see what Kallik thinks of your little adventure. Well then. You are incorrigible, Malcolm. We have no choice but to banish you to the ends of the earth. And luckily, we have been able to hire this fine seaman to take you there on his ship. Herman, pay Mr. Barbecue his fee. So I guess we've been betrayed by a pirate. Thank Big you, surprise. Monsieur Kallek. It will be my pleasure to rid your country of these scoundrels. Oh, when where are we now? Hey, Malcolm! Your girlfriend Ruina says you earned some money in jail. <laughs> Here you go. And that doesn't make sense if you never actually went to prison and just got off Corandia another way. Uh, that attack on Corandia didn't work out too well, did it? Hmm. Well, this is an odd situation we're in. Let me save here. We are apparently at the ends of the earth. Huh. Okay. Now, what is this? Deposit one coin, please. Deposit one coin, please. Well, I guess I don't. He doesn't say it. Where's okay. all the other tourists? I'll bet this place is crowded on the weekend. He doesn't say it, but um, okay. We have these three coins, and we need to use them wisely. There are a few different options for what we can do here, because we need to uh, find our way down this waterfall without killing ourselves. Deposit one. This uh. But if you choose do, choose the wrong thing and use the wrong thing to go down, yeah, you you die. Looks like I can take a. We ride. probably don't need anything. Let's just I'm hop in a barrel. Of barrel riding. Let's just do it. All right. What an enormous! What an enormous! Now I'm ready to try. Do it. These you were never oh. much of a swimmer, were you? So that doesn't work out too well. Yeah, you have to, and uh, there's no indication of what is the right choice for what, which is uh, doesn't make sense to me. But okay. 
So let's choose our things. We have an umbrella. Let's choose that. Great. Too bad it isn't raining. Well, it'll have its other use. Okay. And then we want the pool floaty. Ching. That looks like a safe flotation device. And here we can actually buy that could come in handy. Life insurance. Pretty much if you do end up dying, you actually get set right back to where you were. Which we could already do with the second chance, so that is pretty much useless, but um it doesn't matter. These are the only two things I actually need anyway. And now we want to Looks hop in like this barrel on the left. I I'm Alright, so here we are. Okay, sorry for the weird cut, I actually messed up on something, but... As you can see, it says no pool floaty. So, because video game logic which tells us to do what we're told the not to do... This ride must be a masochist. <laughs> we want to put now the pool floaty on. Now, usually, once you put something on, you'll get an item, and you click on yourself, bad, and you can get it back off. Can see me in that outfit. Now, However, this little pump that we used to pump this up has another use. Let's put that away. What is this down here? Strange little plant. Well, we can use this. Let's and that. give it some air. All fun, right. fun. And I don't know what that did. Hmm. Let's check it out. Oh, we hop over to the other side, and there's a cave here. Okay, seriously, what the heck was that? I just, I don't... That, that, that is just blatant proof that uh, Westwood Studios had just discovered 3D the graphics and they were just must be a going nuts with it, showing it off. But there is a reason for entering that cave, even though nothing in there makes sense at all. You actually have to enter that cave and a couple other caves that will come up. You have to enter each and every one of them. For a good reason. So, why is this all here anyway? Let us save the game now that we've entered cave number one. All right. And now here let us we uh, go with a pool toy. Drop down. So yeah. And this works fine here. Amazing! You actually did it. Now, if you try to go down with the umbrella, it would just sort of like fold in on itself and you'd Too fall. Because you try to float down with it. See me in that outfit. Hmm, so now what do we do? It says no umbrella and no flippers, so we could use either of those. But what we do want to use is the umbrella. Here. Let's give the umbrella a shot. Swing. Tarzan points. Nice. Alright. And now we can use the umbrella. I'll smack the first person who makes a Mary Poppins joke. <laughs> look at him. Just look at him. All right. This please. umbrella should help me float down. And now it won't float. Pull, oh, it did fold in on itself. That insurance really paid for itself. Hey, this life insurance deal is great. Well, I did get to show you what the life insurance does. I think I did it wrong because you don't want to go down the water. You want to go down the rocks. Down over the rocks with my umbrella. That's what I did wrong. And now we're good. And there's cave number two. Amazing! You actually did it. Yeah, yeah. Back in the case. That can't be a safe way to travel. Probably not. 
I don't recommend it. Don't try that at home, kids. Nobody has ever survived for long here at the edge of death. Still does not make any sense. I just, I don't, I can't, I just, I. No umbrellas, no cleats. Uh, oh well, I'll back with the umbrella. The first person. Yeah, yeah, you heard you. This down. Umbrella. And we come to the last cave. I believe you can use the flippers to actually swim back up. Both the flippers and cleats uh, help you go upwards. I think the rocket does too, but I don't think the rocket actually works really well Ooh, anywhere. That can't be a safe way to travel. Okay, and cave number three. What the heck happened? I just... Oh. We're, we're in the fish court. It's like the food court, Welcome but with fish. To limbo. You've been asleep for several years. Several years? Several years? Apparently, you fell on the wrong side of the cataract. The garbage man found your body and sold it to the queen. She's always wanted a human. Who the heck are you? Where the heck am I? And what am I doing here? What's this collar on my neck? Good morning! At last! I am glad to see you awake! After you have adjusted a bit, we will play games! I don't have time to play games. Oh, yes you will! I am the Queen of Limbo, and you are the newest member of my harem! I am flattered, of course, but I'll have to be leaving now. You have no choice! You will come when I call! But now, I must take my nap! What a weirdo! Let's find a bus and get out of here! <sighs> so we are somehow now in limbo after going through those trippy 3D K sequences. That made no sense. And we've been asleep for a few years and now are a prisoner of the Fish Queen. And did they seriously just have us lying on the floor in front, like on that marble floor in front of her? Like, didn't we like need like a bed point, and nourishment and everything for a, nap. a bedpan maybe? I don't. know. So, will we be able to get out of here and back to Corandia and do more stuff, maybe get our revenge or something, I don't know. Well, you're just gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Corandia Book 3, Malcolm's Revenge. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.